Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am taking some time and getting prepared. So as you can see, this clip is all about a future note for my Nan's 95th birthday. So when I hopefully look back on this clip, my Nan would have turned 95 on the 5th of June, which is absolutely incredible. And when I say it, it could actually really bring me to tears, to be quite honest with you. This year, sadly, how things have worked with COVID and everything, um, I have been awaiting to have an operation for quite some time, and it just so would have it that it, fall, it, it fell very close to my nan's birthday. So I am hoping in my recovery that on the 5th of June, I will still be able to make it to see my nan, and hopefully we will be throwing a garden party. My nan is in a slightly different, well, she is in a different stage of her life now. She has Alzheimer's and she has had Alzheimer's for quite some time now. But however, she is still doing incredibly well. And I'll be quite honest to you, it's literally like she holds two fingers up to Alzheimer's because she just keeps battling back each step. She doesn't never let it seem to phase her. Yes, her abilities are affected by Alzheimer's, but do you know what? Looking at my nan, you would still think that she was an awful lot younger. You really, really would. She is a very, very glamorous lady. She is an, a, 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 she is so special. She is absolutely so special. She, she is my world. She means the world to me. Um, and I can't imagine this world without her being in it. Um, and 95? How incredible is that? I mean, looking at my nan, you would think she was a lot younger. She has always, always been into sort of her hair and her makeup and all the most stylish clothes and a very, very glamorous lady. Um, one of my nan's relatives always used to say that whenever my nan walked into the room, you would think it was a film star. And you know what? I will never, ever forget that because it literally was like that. My nan always has the the big sort of skyscraper hair, always sort of, always sort of done up to the nines, the, the finest clothes, absolutely beautiful, my nan looked all the time. And do you know what she still does nowadays with the, the help of the people that look, look after her? My nan has a personal camera and she is absolutely incredible and she dresses nan exactly how my nan would have done. And she helps my nan with, with the things which my nan would have liked to have done and would have liked to have kept up. My nan is a very, very strong lady. She is as strong as an ox. Nothing phases her at all. And she is a true inspiration to me because whenever anything has knocked her back in life, she's literally just got right back up again and gone again. And you know what? She's never, ever made time for herself. It's always been her family. Her family, family, family is what my nan lived for. Absolutely. Um... I have so many special memories of my of my nan. I really do. She, I am privileged in this life to have an incredible mum, but my nan is like a second mum to me, as well. And um, my mum and my nan are always very very close. Have always been very very close, almost like sisters rather than mother and daughter. But my my bond with them are just well, words fail me. Absolutely, words fail me. It's just it's just that special just that special. So when my nan turns 95, it is something truly quite incredible. It really, really is. It just makes me really quite fuzzy, really quite... It could, I, <laughs> I could actually bring myself to tears, let's put it this way. Um, so I, I'm, I'm doing this clip. You're probably thinking, why am I doing this clip? I am doing this clip because I like to capture all these fantastic events, um, birthdays, Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, I like to capture them all on my channel. My channel is so much more than sort of numbers and comments and views. It is me. It's my very life. It's where I go to sort of breathe and to talk. And and it's been a huge help for me. And when I look back on my channel and I see these things which I, I've put on here and, I, and I've shared with different people and I've, and I've actually managed to help people through different things as well. I mean, one of my big passions is uh, is sort of hairstyling and sort of reviewing different products and things for fine hair. And that's something I love. But I absolutely love talking about my family and I love talking about my, my parents and my nan and my brothers and my nieces and nephews. And, and yeah, you, you could say I am a very 
I don't know what the right word to say about it, but I am very family orientated. Family means absolutely everything to me. And on a day where my nan hits such a milestone, 95, wow, my nan has been such a stressed lady because everything had to be done just instantly. Nothing ever could wait. Um, and she, for her whole life, she's taken the time out to look after everybody else and never quite herself. And now, do you know what? It's, my nan has had, a, had out summers for some years now, and we are fortunate in a, in a way that there are some things which it, it hasn't affected, but there are some things which it has it has drastically affected. But, do you know, she is still here, and she is still incredibly strong, still incredibly strong. I mean, my nan, bless her heart, she sees a hairdresser every week, so she's able to keep those things up which she loved and she enjoyed. And my nan absolutely loves getting uh, sort of her hair done, her nails done, sort of the very glamorous sort of lady which she is. And um, me and my mum, we do our absolute best, but we're probably the closest to her, actually. Um, and we, we always try to keep her up together with the top sort of products and, and the sort of the lovely clothes and things like that. She has a big family, but there are only a few selected people which still sort of maintain that, that bond, that relationship with her. A lot of people, I find it difficult to understand, but I, I, I try to understand that they find it too difficult to do that. But for me, I think if everybody thought that, then what on earth would happen to my nan? So... For me, I, I find that really, really difficult to comprehend. But of course, I am respectful of the rest of my members of my family who can't, or they say they can't. Um, and, I, and I respect that. But for me, I cannot imagine a world without her in it. I cannot imagine one week without seeing her. Um, when I walk, and, and the same is for my mum. My mum is exactly the same. And and that's, of course, her mum as well. And of course, it's my mum. So it's that, it's that amazing sort of three. Um, but my brothers see my nan very often, and, uh, and you know, it's just really, really special. I mean, for example, if I go anywhere, the first thing I do if I see anything, I think to myself, oh, nan would like that. Or I think to my, my mum's the same. If we, if we go anywhere and we, and we see something or if we do something, we always think about my nan. We always really try to include her. Because just because she has Alzheimer's, she still is nan, and she still has to be involved in everything. She is still the matriarch of this family. Um, and, and yeah. I mean, well, my nan's, hopefully, when we look back on this clip, because this is, of course, pre-recorded, bearing in mind, for me, I'm going to be taking a break because of my operation. I'm going to be taking some time out. The recovery will be quite difficult, so I'm going to... I'm going to be coming back to my channel, but one thing when I do come back, I want to look back at this clip, and I want to think, actually, I did record it early, but... My nan got there, she got there, and she got there with flying colours, and this amazing, inspirational lady is living on into her 95th year. Um, which I just find absolutely mesmerising, I really do. Um, wow, what a, what a person, what a lady, honestly. Um, so yes, so that's what this clip is all about today. It is very, very special. I have a very, very, very close bond uh, with, my, with my nan. Now, I don't know if you can actually see, but if I lower my shoulder, the picture just here, what you can see, that's me, my nan, and my twin brother. We were very, very close, and um, we still are. Um, we used to spend a lot of time with my nan growing up. So that picture there is where we were all sat in, in our lounge on the sofa, which you can see just behind my shoulder there. Um, and yeah, absolutely, all the time my nan, my nan would look after us, or we would spend a lot of time with her. Um, we would go on days out, we would go on different trips, we would go for walks. Um, it was that real amazing, amazing, treasured grandparent nan bond. Um, so yeah, and as I say, honestly, to 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 me and my twin brother, she she is like a second mum to us. So it's 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 been so special. It's been so special growing up with nan, and to see nan now in her ninety fifth year. Yes, okay, she has Alzheimer's, but you know she still has her life. She still. She still enjoys certain things. Okay, it's different now in something she can't do, um, but we help her to do that. It's like I always say that we are her memory now. Um, so when I visit my nan, I mean, throughout COVID, it was absolutely heartbreaking not to be able to see her as much as we could. But as soon as we, we could and we were allowed, 
we were there. And we were there sharing my nan with gifts again and buying her all the things which my nan would have loved and what we thought she needed and talking to her and telling her what's happened and and sort of updating her on different things what's happened in the family and and different things what's happening in the world. That's what we do. I think that's what you do when somebody means so much to you. And she certainly does. So with that said, when I look back on this clip and anybody who's watching, I hope you join me in wishing my nan, my dear nan, a very, very happy 95th birthday. I love you nan and happy birthday, you mean the world to me. Okay, thank you very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. This means the absolute world. My nan means the absolute world. God bless. Thanks very much for sharing this with me and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.